In this video I'm going to show you how to replace the spark plugs from this Mercedes W177. Now since this is a turbocharged engine I recommend that you inspect the spark plugs every 60,000 kilometers. So up here we've got the coil packs for two cylinders but if you want to get access to the last two we need to take out these hoses. So let's start with this one first. We've got here a 7 millimeter. Then up here we've got two E8 bolts. So I'm just going to connect my adapter. These are out. Now if you look from this side, we've got here some clips. We need to release this and pull out the holes. Just make sure that you don't break them. We got to disconnect it from here as well. We've got here a hose clamp, but to get access to it, we got to unplug the connector from this air pressure sensor. You will need one of these picks because you need to unplug these small connectors around here. Now we get access to the hose clamp, as you can see. I've got here my favorite hose clamp tool, so let's catch it here. Make sure it's in straight position. This thing looks like it's stuck in here. Okay, so I disconnect it first from here. We've got also this breather hose here, but this can be disconnected, so it shouldn't be a problem. Now I think I'm going to leave this PCV hose here because I can work around it. So I'm going to remove only this air delivery line. We've got here two E10 bolts. Okay, so we've got here a special hose clamp which can be released with your fingers. So this is disconnected, now we can take it apart. Okay, so now finally we've got access to the coil packs. Again, we're gonna need the E10 and let's unplug the connectors. The space is very limited, so you will definitely need this tool to do this job. Because now, for example, you need to release that clip and take out the connector. Okay, so let's remove the bolts now. I'm gonna take two at a time. Let's make sure we don't damage this, okay. You're gonna need a 40 millimeter spark plug socket. It doesn't have to be a 12 point like this one. And you can see it's gonna match here perfectly. So there is already an extension. I'm gonna need another one. Okay, make sure that the spark plug comes out easy because you risk to break it in there and good luck removing it from there. I think this is gonna be the long type. Yes, as you can see, there is some white deposits on it, but the spark plug looks good, so I don't think they need any type of replacement right now. Okay, so here is the name of it. For most of the turbocharged engine, the gap of the spark plug needs to be 0.7 millimeters. Usually if the engine is not turbocharged, then the gap can be a little bit larger, like 0.9 millimeter or even 1 millimeter. And that's because there is no pressurized air coming into the cylinders, so there is nothing that can deviate the spark. Okay, so when installing it back, just place the spark plug on the socket. You should be able to tighten it by hand at least a couple of times. If you cannot do that, make sure that you clean the threads. There are some kits available. Just make sure that you apply the correct amount of torque. 24 Newton meters. So let's press this on the plug. Okay, make sure it's aligned with the other two. That's one of the reasons I didn't remove all of them at the same time. You can see it here, for example, this one is going to be aligned with this one and with that one. And that way you know that the coil pack is all the way on the spark plug. It should match these holes here easy. So let's see this one. So for example, here we can see that the coil pack is not aligned with this one. So you need to press it more. Now it looks like it's aligned. Okay, so let's torque this down to 7 Newton meters. Let's plug in the connectors and we got to press as well the safety clip. So now we have to install everything back. The 
Okay guys, so that was pretty much it about the spark plugs on this car. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up as usual. Take care and have a nice day.